Hello and welcome back to Aeron's World. Well, um, I am in the 1.5 pre-release here, which is why the texture pack's a little bit strange. The water's gone a bit weird and so on. But it means more or less, barring a few final bug, bug fixes and an actual release of Mesa's realistic texture pack, um, you know, we are in the 1.5 version, which is good. Now, as you know, um, I want to make myself an item sorting machine. Uh, but I have no iron, and that is an issue. So I am going to do something that I didn't think I would do, but I'm going to make myself an iron golem farm. Um, but, you know me, I can't just make one of those cruel, in, um, inhumane villager spawners in the sky where they're all crammed into a little tiny space and they don't get to have a life at all. So I plan on actually making a village here um, on this mountain. Now I've had a quick look and this mountain is about 50 wide and 40 that way. Now the actual um, golem spawning area is about 20 by 20. So if this thing is 40 wide that gives me a gap of 10 on, on one side and 15 on the other. So I think that's enough room to work with. And the top of this mountain is close enough to my base. Oops. But far enough away that, you know, uh, it won't be right on top of everything. So if we just take a look at it from a different, pers uh, different perspective. Uh, incidentally, I think I've got this working again. Um, what I had to do was have the path from this torch had to be longer before it reached the comparator and then I've put this to maximum delay and that seems to be giving me a nice pulse so the lighthouse works again. So um, as you can see that's a nice area there um, and it would be something nice and visible from uh, from the base. So the first thing I want to do is I think I want to level that off <laughs> um, at about the bottom level of those trees, just slice it off like that, because that will be a nice elevation from my base. Um, and then I'll build everything I need on there. Now this is going to be a long and complex project, um, not even just counting, you know, the having to level, you know, an entire mountain there. But um, there's going to be lots of building involved. I've got to get some uh, get some villagers over here to my base, which is going to mean having to transport them through the nether. Uh, the other thing it means is I'll have to count the distances to be exact, but for safety's sake, I have to get rid of all the doors in my base, all the normal doors. Now that's relatively safe because I get very few spawns. Uh, mob spawns. There's like maybe one or two spots still here and there. But basically the way villages work is um, wherever there are villagers, if they see a door, a valid door on a valid building, and I think this would count as a valid building, then that building becomes part of their village. And in order to control the spawning of the iron golems, um, iron golems will always spawn near the centre of the village. I think they spawn within 16 blocks of the centre of the village. So I need to make sure the centre of this village is over there, where they are. If I just trundle the villagers through my base while these doors exist, my base might become part of the village I want to build up there. Um, and that means the centre of the village will become the average between the two doors, and the centre of the village will sort of like end up in the middle of my base. And that just isn't going to work. So, first thing I need to do is run around and remember wherever I put doors. <laughs> Plenty of eggs. Okay, um, those were just using fence gates. Uh, my mouse is definitely losing accuracy. It keeps sort of twitching. I might have to... Um, well, clean my mouse mat thoroughly, try cleaning the mouse, and if that doesn't work, maybe buy myself a new one. Okay, so there's no doors here. Um, what I'll probably do 
once once the iron golem farm is in place and everything then oh there's some down down underground isn't there uh, once the Iron Golem farm is in place, then I'll replace the doors I've got with something else, like uh, piston gates or just normal gates. Incidentally, for those of you new to my channel, this is my um, my uh, spider spawner. There's a cave spider spawner in there. Flicking that uh, that that turns off the lights, and they're piston controlled lights because this thing predates redstone lamps. Um, and then there's a spiral, there's a, here there's a spiral of water, which in general if you stand right here, the spiders come out, climb the spiral, they go up 24 blocks, they fall down on that fence post, and then they go and collect in a chamber over there. It's possible this thing was already on, and I've just turned it off. Yeah, there we go. Right, so well, let's make sure we've got to get rid of any doors underground as well. Now that's an issue because this is a um, this is my slime spawning floor. So let us just make this look ugly for a moment. <laughs> I'll go around and polish all this up later, but I've got to make sure that slimes can't get out of there. And I believe there's some doors down here as well. Because I had some... Some maintenance access doors. Yeah, like that. Uh, those are the tunnels that the slimes go wandering through. After they've been chopped down to size. There's like lava blades in the corners of the room. But three off the ground, so any larger slimes just go in, jump about, and get and get turned into little ones. Uh, they might escape through there, actually. So I'll do that to them both. Okay. Well, I'm pretty certain I've gotten rid of all the doors in my base. And I've just put some fence posts um, as a safety thing, you know, like that. Oh, hang on. There's one more door. <laughs> one more door. Um, I'll just get a bit of wood to block it up. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, I might make a fence gate. I think I've got a workbench down, down here. Um, that's the mountain we want to level anyway, so we're in sort of the right place. I want to turn this place into a testing proving ground, but I want to remodel it. Um, I'm thinking some form of amphitheater, like it's um, a, some, uh, some form of dem demonstration hall. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to use to level that mountain, by the way, is all that gunpowder and sand. But first, let me just make myself this fence gate, because this area here is not very well lit right now. So I have to make sure that the route into my base isn't left exposed. There we go. Right. So, I said I would level this mountain at about the level of the top of these trees. That's what looked about right to me. So, about here. Oh, <laughs> I meant to make the gunpowder before I came up. Okay, so gunpowder is... I mean TNT. I've already got gunpowder. Uh, it's gunpowder and sand, and that gets you TNT. So that's a stack of TNT, which I can set off using a pressure plate if necessary, or if I get some cobblestone as I'm setting this up, then I can do that. Now, how best to lay this out? Um, it would be really nice to get a, ch 
a chain reaction that would take out the entire hill in one go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just chop my way through. Make a little 2x2 two two tunnel through the centre of this mountain. Okay, night is falling, but inside this perimeter is relatively well lit. There are some dark areas up on this hill. Um, I'll risk it. I mean, the worst that uh, the worst that could happen is a creeper will show up. And he'll just help me do my job. This is that. Um, this actually is the first major piece of landscaping. I believe that I've done by my base. I mean, okay, I'm just leveling off a rather low and boring hill. This will also get me loads of cobblestone. Oops. Uh, see, I lagged because that sound wanted to kick in. There's still a bit, uh, there's still a bit of lag in the sound engine in this game. Okay. Now that's come out further this way than I expected it to. But I don't really have much choice, do I? I mean, if I'm going to level it at that level. Maybe I should do this a bit higher? Eh, we'll see what we get. No, no, we won't just see what we get. Let's, let me just think about this a little bit longer. Yeah, I think I did do that a bit too low, especially con considering the TNT will blast its way down a bit. Okay, there's a zombie around here somewhere. Hello. So, ooh, 25 levels, excellent. So, I think I should get up um, two or three higher than that. Um, let's dig through the mountain at this level. May not seem like much, uh, much of a difference, but I think it will make uh, make a difference to how much of this I chop off. Especially because, uh, as I said, the explosions are going to blast downwards a little bit. So I'm going to riddle this thing with some tunnels. Okay, well that took a little bit longer than I expected. Um, this thing is now riddled with tunnels. Um, and I'll just show you the basics of them. Oops, let me jump over that. Now, I'll admit that um, I think the tunnels I put at the lower levels are too far apart. Uh, the idea is, is that I'm going to stick TNT in these tunnels. Where are we? Um, oops. Uh, there was a creeper there that I killed earlier. Yeah, so uh, the idea is, is I'm going to stick TNT in these tunnels and they'll blow the stuff up. Now, these ones are a bit too far apart. Um, considering this is basically solid rock at this level, they should probably only have had a gap of two in between. And unfortunately, I put four, so I'm going to end up with some stuff in here extra. Uh, but I've riddled that all the way. Uh, once I get to some of the upper levels, I realised I was putting them too close together. And I start to make make them a little bit tighter when when they're solid rock, but further apart when they're dealing with um, dirt and gravel and stuff like that. So if I see here, um, I'm start, starting to do the rock ones only two apart, but then when it's just a big bank of dirt and that, I'm doing it more. So, now I've got to lay the TNT. Now, um, I think I need a layer of TNT for the top. Now, I believe the blast radius of TNT will spread a distance of 7. Um, so, if there's an unobstructed line of sight from one piece of TNT to another, um, I think it will uh, det uh, detonate the second piece if they're 7 apart. 
Um, I've completely run out of space in my inventory. I actually kind of want to test this. Um, let me just get over to... Just over here somewhere where I'm not going to mind if I'm just going to randomly scar the terrain. So... Right, let's... One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a gap, I believe, of one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think if I detonate one of these, it will blow the other one up as part of its explosion. Let's just test that, shall we? No, no. Okay, there we go. Six in between, seven in total. No. Okay. Um, let's try this again then. Because we don't want to use more TNT than we need to, so it's a good idea to run this test now. So what if we put a gap of five in between um, where's the TNT gone? Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, and then the TNT. Still no. <laughs> I'm making a wreck of this of this mountain, but that's why it's the one that's further away from my base. Okay, um, gap of four, one, two, three, four, and then the TNT. There we go. Okay, so gap of four. That's what I want to do if I want this TNT to set off its brethren. Um, I need to get back up there. So I'm going to start with the roof. I've got loads of gunpowder and loads of sand, so... Um, so we just go one, two, three, four, gunpowder. One, two, three, four, gunpowder. So up here, I am just going to space it out over the entire surface. There we go, that spaced them out on here. So I'm pretty certain that if I detonate this one, a chain reaction will spread to all of this stuff. Now, I didn't bother sort of down to the edges and that, because that's what should be dealt with by the tunnels I dug. Um, if I can find the tunnels. Where are they? Oh, the entrance is further this way. Okay, I've lost all my tunnels. Okay, here they are. Okay, <laughs> as you can see, this one is right below the surface there. So... Here again, I just need to do the spacing every four. So I'm going to start with the side branches. And in order to make sure the chain reaction continues, that has to be there. So I'm going to go all the way along and make sure I get this. So one, two, three, four. So there is going to be one there, but again, I've got to do the side tunnels first. So I'm going to lay the TNT throughout the entire mountain. Okay, so I finally run out of gunpowder, and I've been able to do, um, well, all but one level, and a couple of branches on the level above. But the vast majority of this mountain is wired to blow. So now we get to have some fun. 
Um, I'm going to try and try and set this off one layer at a time. But it's entirely possible that the chain reaction might spread down from one layer to another. So I've got to make sure that I've got... Hang on, I do actually have some ender pearls on me. I keep forgetting that I have ender pearls and it makes climbing so much better. So, yeah, if I just... You can just see in there that it's just like TNT riddled all over the place. So, um, I need somewhere safe to set this one off. Uh, this chain reaction should should spread around the top of this without going to those lower levels. Um, but I'm going to make certain... Actually, I could just end a pearl away, couldn't I? Um, that might actually be quicker and safer. If I set that up next to there... So if I just light, light that and then end a pearl. Whoa. And it did spread. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. Okay, my game just lagged massively. Not surprising, really. There's also probably quite a lot of entities in the um, um, in the world. Right, let's. Oh no, I wanted to get next to that. Let's um, pick up the stragglers. No, oh, that didn't work. I put most of my end of stuff away because I thought there'd be loads of blocks that I would have have uh, have to pick up. Put most of my ender pearls away. <laughs> A little bit of coal. I mean this isn't really the way you can you know if you wanted to do efficient mining or anything like that. So let's see whether we can find any more TNT that's not gone off. Boom. So yeah, so that there's there's going to be you know stragglers and that. Is there any actual chains? Or did they? I think the vast majority of the TNT did did go off. <laughs> Never really used TNT in any large numbers before. Hmm. Now, if I if I burn him, he'll just fall down. But still, might be worth it. Bah! Glitched. Ow. <laughs> okay. So, um, well, in terms of efficiency as compared to just digging it out, um, considering the fact that, you know, I still got quite a bit of digging left to do, it may or may not be a good efficient use of my time. But, this is certainly a lot more fun. <laughs> hmm, there's quite a bit of dirt left there. Was this just a bit which didn't have any TNT anywhere near it? Looks like. Oh well. 
dirt goes away nice and quickly. So, um, come next episode, I'll have this leveled off and all neatened up, and we can start the actual construction of our village slash golem spawner. And for you know, and the reason I'm uh, spawning the golems is that you can destroy them and get iron for free. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>